Hello everyone and welcome back to another squad building challenge tutorial here on FIFA 22. Today we're going to be completing the Let's Keep Going uh, squad building challenges. Now one thing to bear in mind as we discussed in the last video if you've not seen it you can go back and check it out but we said that in these squad building challenges be aware that every single player you use will be lost forever so make sure you're not using your main players. You want to be using the players that you have no intent in using in the future. The players that you can cash in and it won't affect you whatsoever. So be sure to do that. Right. So let's keep going. First of all, we're going to do brick slots. Now, this one is an interesting one because it actually puts in a couple of like fake players. And the idea is, is to try and get chemistry from using this. Now, it's not too difficult to do. Essentially, what you want is a English central defensive midfielder and a German striker. You can do what I did here. We can get the strong link to Harry Winks um, because he's a Premiership English central defensive midfielder. Um, or you can use... I don't think you probably could, to be honest. Um, I was saying you can use a German striker from either English third or English fourth, but I don't think there's actually one available. Uh, if you really want to do this well, you could um, use a English player here that is either from the English three or English fourth tier to get that extra chemistry, but you don't need to. As you can see, I've got Harry Winks and I've got Tarod, and both of those players have got enough chemistry to complete this easy enough. So we'll hit the submit button, boom, and we will get ourselves all the rewards. Boom, so we get a right wing to right four. That's a very important card, and I'll show you that why in a moment. Uh, and we get the left wing to left forward card. Again, very important. And we'll, well, we'll look at that right now, actually. The correct position, number two. This one is a tricky one. This one threw me a lot. So you need a left forward, a striker, and a right forward. Now, it's very, very, very unlikely you're going to have a left forward and a right forward. So the way to do this, you need to find yourself a left winger and a right winger. Um, and then use a position change cards. Now with this one, you need to have three separate nations. So as you can see, I've got Croatia, Sweden, and Trinidad and Tobago. Um, put them all in. You need a left winger, a striker, and a right winger. Once you've got them in position, you need to go on to your wingers. <coughs> and you're going to need to apply the consumer ball, the right winger to right forward card. This will give you the extra chemistry you need to complete. There we go, we now have enough chemistry because we've used those cards. Now we did get both of those position change cards as a reward for the previous squad building challenge, so it shouldn't be too bad for you. And then once you've done that again, just hit submit. We'll get ourselves another bronze pack and we continue on. Okay, it wants us to open the packs now. That's fine, we'll open the packs now. So what fun bronze rewards we get. Uh, we're gonna get ourselves a Japanese center back in Kobayashi. Lovely. Exactly what I wanted. Uh, but more bronze players that do come in useful. Again, uh, there's a lot of squad building challenges that will come out throughout this year. So having these players that are a bit more obscure are going to be useful. And we get a bronze rare. Uh, that's not bad either. That's a little bit helpful. We can definitely get some use out of that. Uh, and again, some more random bits and bobs we don't really need. Um, so... Next up is Perfect Links. Now, this one is another interesting one. This one introduces you more to the, the, the big link. So what I have done um, to get the extra chemistry we needed is I've got a perfect link right here. I've got Rugani and I have Descigglio. They're both Italian. They both play for Juventus and they both play in the Serie A, which means they have three links, which means that they have full chemistry, which is perfect, exactly what we need. We've also gone for a strong link here between the English striker and the English attacking midfielder. They're both English and they're both playing the same league, so that's a strong link. And this player can just sit there doing whatever he wants to do, really. So for this one, we need to use no more than two players from the same nation. We need no more than two players from the same club. We need to use two silver players and we need that chemistry of 40. So by having the perfect link here and the strong link here, we can ignore this person, and we've still got enough chemistry of 41 to be able to complete this. Again, they're players I'm never going to use in the future, so I don't mind losing these five players uh, in the uh, pursuit of getting more rewards. So we'll hand that one in. We get ourselves a two silver player pack and some coins. 
uh, in the two silver player pack. Again, these packs are useful because it's not very often you get these players, so they are very useful in the future. Conor Payanka. I remember him. He was a really good player in the career mode a few years ago. Okay, we'll take those in. And the final one from the Loyal Lads is going to be... Well, final one from Let's Keep Going is called Loyal Lads. Now, Loyal Lads, essentially, you need to use players that you've either packed or players that have played 10 matches. Now, you can tell which ones these are because if you go into player details... Is it? They used to be. There we go, yeah. Go into player details and head across to the second view. You'll see there's a little green shield there at the bottom of Chris Smallin's card. That means that he is a loyal player. Now, essentially, whenever you uh, buy a player off the transfer market, he will have nine chemistry. No matter what, he'll have nine chemistry until they've played ten matches. Then they'll get the extra one. If you get a player out of a pack, they start with that extra chemistry. So for this one, you just need three players all from the same nation but from different leagues and they all have to have that green shield so they all have to be either taken out of a pack by yourself or you have to have played them in 10 separate games i've been quite lucky i've got chris smallin from the Serie A. I have got um tom davis from the premiership and i've got quickie um who is from the english four so yeah i managed to get three players all English, all different leagues, all with that green shield. Now, you don't have to use the same players as me. Of course, you can use the players you have in your team, so just have a look around and see what you do have. I do think English is the easiest way to go because there are a lot more leagues available. However, another few easy ones you can do, maybe Brazil is a, is a good one to use as well, Argentina. Just those sort of nations that have a lot of players spread around the world, but that is uh, how I have completed it. And uh, we cashed it in. Again, we'll lose all three of these players forever. We'll never get to use them again. Um, so we'll cash those out. And there we go. We got a two silver player pack. And we also complete the Let's Keep Going Squad Building Challenge set, which will give us one premium loan player reward. It means we're going to get one pretty good loan player um, for a few games to really help us get going. Um, so let's open our two silver player pack first. I mean, there are some very, very good silver cards on this game. Some very good pace, high pace ones. Uh, not that one. That one's terrible. But again, it might come in useful in the future. And our premium loan card. An 81 to 85 rated player on loan. Hopefully it's not going to be an 81. It's a non-rare, isn't it? That's, that's terrible. Okay. Andre Almate. What? Oh, it must be not the... Okay, we've got Munayin on loan there we go and uh, Almeida is a duplicate so I'll stick him on the old transfer list but there we go we've got Munayin as a, uh, a loan player for seven games so that was worth it I think and it gets it out the way and allows us to um, start working on some other squad building challenges so next time round we will continue on with let's move forward uh, again another three um, teams that'll be pretty interesting and uh, get more rewards as we go along as well. So I hope this has been helpful and I hope you've enjoyed. Of course, if you have, hit the like, the subscribe, all the other good stuff. And uh, make sure you keep an eye out as we continue forward on our squad building challenge journey. And we complete them together. And hopefully you guys have become confident enough to move on and complete them by yourselves in the future. Good night. God bless. Auf Wiedersehen. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.